Uh, keeping kids safe, as you mentioned, in school really is a high priority, and that's the case for the Kenton School District. The superintendent outlined a safety and security initiative at the beginning of the school year. In a letter that was dated October 11th to the Kenmore East families, the superintendent informed them that metal detector wands were used that day. Not only were students scanned with metal detector wands, their bags were also searched. Some took issue with that, and I reached out to a local defense attorney and two on your side legal analyst, Barry Covert, who says those bag searches could be problematic. Is what Kenmore doing, is it right or wrong? I think the courts will have a real problem with their searching bags without any level of suspicion to believe that they need to do so. Using the scanner or wand, uh, I believe the courts have deemed to be appropriate generally. But to search a bag and admitting you're doing that without any reasonable suspicion at all to believe that there's anything in that bag to now violate that student's uh, privacy to what they have in the bag, I think the courts are going to have a real problem with if they ever get challenged. And the district was very clear that this is a proactive measure only. There was no threat. A spokesperson for the district told me via email that wanding is conducted without parents being notified ahead of time so that the students have no way of knowing when it will take place. This is a way to maximize the effectiveness. In the Information Center, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.